Hi guys, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the Zigbee receiver, Zigbee controller, and also how to use the Philips Hue app with the Hue bridge. And I'm also going to show you how to use the find and bind control feature. So, first what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to set up your receiver. So what you, all you need to do here is if you download the app on your phone, which is called the Philips Hue app, you'll just need to create an account quickly and then you'll get to this screen. First off, what you're going to need to do is if you press add light and then you're just going to tap search and then press the receiver five times. The lights will then begin to flash, as you can see, and the app will then say it's found one, which is the receiver you've just chose. If you click start configuration, so the next thing you're going to need to do is just save the lights as a name, whatever you wish. So I'm going to save this one as test. And then you'll be able to use a color scroll on the app, like so. Once you've had a little play, if you click done, at this part, you'll be able to use um, your lights in whichever room you'd like. So you can add your test lights to the room you'd like. So if I drag the test to the room, and save this this one as let's call it test room press save and then press done you'll see it will say that this is ready to use so how to control them so if you press test room and press test you can then get back to the color wheel and use it as you like so if you wanted to use the controller as well as, all you need to do is grab your controller, which looks like this. So, if you then go to the app and go back, press settings, and then click accessories, and then click add accessories, you would then just need to tap the hue dimmer switch, press that. On this part of the app, if you just then click no, and then select LEDs is blinking. Okay, so we can put this down for now. So now it's the part for the controller. So all you will need to do here is hold down the power button until the light in the top corner comes on, like so. Press S1 and then the light at the top will then begin to flash. Once that's stopped, there we go. We'll put this back down and then just press settings on the controller. So once you've done that, that is connecting the controller to the app. But now you'll need to do something called find and bind. So all you'll need to do here is if you grab the controller again, you click the receiver three times. Press your desired zone until the red light comes on. Hold down the power button until the light in the top corner comes on. And then just press S3. Like so. Once the lights have stopped dancing, it will then say that it's all connected. The light at the top corner will then blink to let you know that it's connected. And then you can use the color scroll on the controller, like so. And then you'll also be able to go on the app and use the color scroll here. And this is how you connect both the app and the controller to the receiver using the Philips Hue bridge on the Philips Hue app.